Nehemiah, whose name in Hebrew means Yaakon Fort, was the son of Hakaniah and was most likely born during Babylonian exile. He lived around the 5th century before Christ and was most likely from the tribe of Judah. He is the central figure in the book of Nehemiah in the Old Testament, which was probably written in the 400s before Christ, either by Nehemiah himself or Ezra, a priest and teacher of the law. Nehemiah was also a cupbearer to Artaxerxes I, king of Persia. One day Nehemiah learned that the walls and the city gates of Jerusalem were destroyed. And the Bible says that he sat down and wept and mourned and prayed and fasted for God to grant him favor before the king, which God did. So one day Nehemiah was serving the king and the king noticed how sad he was and asked about it. And Nehemiah went on explaining to the king that Jerusalem laid in ruins and asked for permission to go back and rebuild the city. Not only did the king grant his request, but he also appointed Nehemiah as governor of Judah and provided him with resources to ensure that he would have a safe trip and also resources to rebuild the city gates. When Nehemiah got to Jerusalem, the first thing that he did was to inspect the walls. And after noticing how damaged the city gates were, how damaged the walls were, he went to talk to the priest, the nobles, and the officials of Jerusalem so they could start rebuilding the city, which they agreed unto. However, the Arabs and Samaritans were very upset when the repair pairing works began. The mocked, ridiculed the work, planted seeds of discouragement in the hearts of the people, plotted to fight them, and even to kill and discredit Nehemiah. They would say things like, what are those feeble Jews doing? Can they bring the stones back to life from those heaps of rubble? What are they building? Even a fox climbing up on it will break down their wall of stones. But Nehemiah was a wise leader. He prayed for God to strengthen them. He helped instill hope and courage in the hearts of the people. He assigned half the men to work and equipped the other half with weapons. Even those who carry their materials will hold their materials in one hand and hold a weapon in another hand. And even the builders, they will still have a sword at their side while they were working. And Nehemiah also assigned men to work as guards by night and workers by day. And with the help of God, with the grace of God, the walls of Jerusalem, as well as all the ten city gates of Jerusalem, all of it was rebuilt in just 52 days. Besides Nehemiah. rebuilding the city walls and city gates of Jerusalem, Nehemiah did some other important work. For instance, he made the nobles and officials of Judah stop charging the people interest and give them back their possessions. He was also very instrumental alongside Ezra the priest in bringing the hearts of the people back to God. He put order in the house of God by appointing workers, um, purifying the priest and the Levite, reconsecrating the Sabbath, and also made men swear not to take foreign wives. The Bible says that he was also very instrumental in creating a library of the Holy Scriptures to a collection of the books of the kings and um and prophets and some royal letters um, and while he served as governor he cared very much for the poor and he never demanded the food that was allotted to a governor because it placed a lot of he placed a heavy burden on the people. Nehemiah served as a governor for 12 years and later on he returned to serve the king of Persia.